All right, welcome back to Photoshop. This should be a pretty quick tutorial. It's an easy concept to grasp. It's just something that I don't think a lot of people realize is there and it gets underused. So today we're gonna to take a look at tool presets. And tool presets can be found just about any time you click on any one of these little icons because these are your tools. If you come up here, you'll see this little arrow, all right? And you're gonna click that arrow and these are your tool presets. So if you wanna go into your preset settings, you can go in here and you can create a new tool, you can sort tools, you can reset tools, do whatever you need to do. Also click on this little arrow to create a new tool. Right now, these are the tools that are created. And these are pretty much basically the default ones that come with the program. And we'll take a look at these in a second. We're gonna go ahead and close this because there's a better place to get access. So we're gonna come up here to our window menu and we're gonna drop down to tool presets. And basically all that does is give us a new little window here with all our tool presets. So it's much easier to click on. Now, if you're gonna use these, you could easily move these over into here or someplace more logical if you don't have a lot of extra space on the side. But for this tutorial, it's just easier for me to keep it up here. You notice we have up here a drop down menu, which is the same drop down menu that we had for the settings. And we also have a plus. And right here, current tool only means right now I'm clicked on this marquee tool. So any tools that are associated with the marquee tool. And in this case, what's our none, uh, nothing's available. So if I click on the crop tool, then you come down here and you'll notice all the crop tools that I have are available. So if you want to, clicking this current tool only, it's gonna make it a lot easier if you're clicked on a certain tool. If you don't want that, it's simple. You just click on and you'll get all these tools over here on the right hand side. So if I click on here, we'll get the magnetic lasso at 24 pixels. Right here, we've got a four by six inch crop at 300 pixels per inch. We've got a fill pattern with bubbles and you would just come in there and click and it would create pattern with bubbles, which I think is really ugly. If we wanna create a five point star, we come in here and just create the five point star. It's white. And we, if we wanted to change anything, we can come up here and change that stuff. So those are tool presets. And what these would be used for, for things are tools that you use over and over again. And a lot of time these tools have settings that you need to apply to them. So let's go ahead and get rid of that star. So let's go ahead and create a custom shapes tool. Come down here, I've got my custom shapes tool right there. We'll click on that. We'll come up here and then we'll decide what type of custom shape that we want. Let's say we want a flower and we wanna use this flower. Wonderful, I'll go ahead and close that. Up here, what color do I want that flower? Well, let's say I want that flower to be pink. Well, we can easily come in here to our color picker. We'll go to pink, We'll pick this pink color. We'll hit okay. Remember, this is the fill color. There's also a stroke. The stroke would be on the outside. In this case, I'm gonna make that stroke zero so we don't have to deal with that. We're gonna make the width and you don't need to add the width, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So we're gonna make this 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And we've created our tool. So now we can come over here to the new tool preset or we could just come down here, click plus, it knows automatically that we're using the custom shape tool. So we can do custom shape, flower, pink, 500p, so we know it's 500 pixels. Notice we've got a little box that says include color. Yes, I wanna include the color. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, anytime that I wanna create that custom shape, I'll come in here and click. You'll notice it says 500 pixels by 500 pixels from center. I'll go ahead and hit okay. And boom, just like that, it creates that flower to the exact size and color that I want. So that is a custom tool preset. Let's say I crop a lot of my images, and in this case, we'll say for the website, and this is a two by three ratio. 
and I want to keep that two by three ratio. I can come in here to my crop tool. I can come in here and change this to ratio and we'll make this 500 pixels by 333 pixels. That so it's the right way. So now we have that exact size ratio. And when you're doing this, if you want it to be inches, you must put space I N. In this case, it's actually PX, just so everybody knows what's going on. So we'll put the PX there, space PX. I'll go ahead and crop my image because I can't click on anything. When you have the crop tool, it disables this. So we'll go ahead and hit there. Notice it says crop tool 500 by 333 pixels. I can go ahead and click that. Now, anytime you want those tools, you can come up here. It doesn't matter what you're on. We're gonna go ahead and go down. There's the crop tool. If I wanted my pink flower, I could click there. If I wanted to sort these images, remember it's really easy. You can go current tool, and that way it's just gonna show the current tools there. And I can view those here or over here in my tool preset. I can go ahead and remove those. I can remove the sort. And if I wanted to get my custom shape, I could come over here and click on my custom shape and then create another flower. This is great for artists or really anything that's a repetitive task that you do over and over and over again. You can do them for just about every single tool that's available. As you can see here, we've got a gradient one, so you can do gradient. And gradients are good because when you use a gradient, a lot of times you're picking a color. So in this case, I'm gonna pick black and white, right? And we're gonna do a radial pattern. Let's say we're gonna use this for a vignette on an image. We've got our opacity. I'm gonna move it up to 100%. Now we've got a radial black to white gradient. I can come down here, I can click plus, and it can do black gradient tool, and I can call this black to so I accidentally hit another key and didn't get to finish filling that in, but that's okay. We're just know this is black to white and I can go in there and change that. So let's go ahead and make a curves adjustment and we can darken this. So I've made that adjustment layer. So then I can come down here to my black to gradient and I can come here to the center and I can go ahead and draw my line and boom, just like that, it does my gradient. So it's not being affected in the center and it's on the outside of this image. That is how you would create a gradient tool inside of Photoshop. Well, that's it for how to use tool presets inside of Photoshop. Take some time and really think about it and what would be beneficial in your workflow to speed it up by using tool presets. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.